Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geeky Lemon Development and welcome to our weekly tutorials. And this week I'll be showing you how to change the colour of text from a button. Now I have a demonstration here in the iPhone simulator. We've got a simple label, text field and text view. And at the bottom here we have our four round red buttons. And so we hit the red one. It changes the text to red. So does the blue, green and black. Now already I have my project set up. It's a view based application for the iPhone and I've simply named it text colors. Now the first thing we need to do is go to our view controller.h where we add, it, add in our IB outlet for our label, text view, text field and our four round rec buttons. So we start by, I'll zoom in for you now, IB outlet space UI label space asterisk and I'll name the label simply label so you understand it when we come to the coding and again repeat it IB outlet space UI this time it's a text field space asterisk and I'll name this again text field then end that by semicolon and again IB outlet space UI and this one is a text view and we do space asterisk and again name it text view so it's easy to understand when we come to the coding part and then just after the last curly bracket right here we need to add in four action buttons for our colors so to do that we do dash bracket ib action bracket and just to save time I'll copy this now so we have four actions there and the first one we call it red and then a semicolon this one can be blue, the third will be green, and the last one can be black. So save that, and once you've done that, just zoom out. Go to our view controller.m, we will add in all the code in there. So just after the implementation, it says enter a few times, so you've got a little bit of space, and then start with our first action button, which was dash bracket ib action bracket and this one was red space curly bracket and press enter and then what we need to do to change our form well, firstly our label is type in the name of our label which we named it label so it is understand and dot text color space equals space bracket ui color space and now we're typing the color which we want it to change to which this button will set it to red. Now you can have any color like yellow, green, cyan, blue, black, white. But this one's red. You seem to be red and color should appear. There we go. And we hit bracket, semicolon. Now to save a little bit of time, you can copy this. Let's get rid of that space in there. And again. And then this time, change the label here to text view and then this one to text field so then we've got the code all set up already which as soon as we hit this button we'll, we'll change our label text view and text field all the text in there to our color here which we set to red so that one's done there and again we can copy the whole of that Just enter and paste it in there and this time we need to change it to a different color which this time it will be blue so all you need to do is change the name of the action button and then the colour which it will go to, so which in this case is blue. And then once you've done that, repeat it again. But this one is going to be green. Then we can save that. I'll just zoom out now so I can scroll down a little bit more. We're in our fourth color, which was black. And again, change all the colors here so it all changes to black. 
So that's it done there. If you want to pause the video now and catch up in any of the coding. But now to save it and go straight into our viewcontroller.xib. And the first thing we'll add is our label. I'll simply place it in the center. Let's make it nice and big. Let's drag this up so we can see a little bit more. And secondly, our text field. I'll do the same. Make that bigger. And then finally, we need our text view. So I'll place that center again. Change the label. And the text field. I'll center both of these so they look a little bit more smart. I won't edit the text view as there's too much text in there, so that's okay, leave as it is. Then our round red buttons, we need to add four of these. So simply copy and paste. Place that next to it. And then we'll center all of these. First one's our red one, second's our blue, third's our green, and fourth's our black. Okay, then, so now once you've got the old interface set up there, click on File Zoner, go to our connections, and we'll link up our label to our label, our text field to our text field, our text view to our text view, and then we go down to our actions, and we link up the black button to the black, and we do something simple like touchdown blue to blue, again touch down, green to green, and then finally our red all the way to our red, and then touch down. So now once you've done that, we can simply save that and go straight into build and run. Product should build now with no problems. Let me just wait for the iPhone simulator to load up. Okay, and so here we are then, the iPhone Retina Display Simulator. So once it's loaded up, we have our label, text field, and text view. And we hit our red button, and all the text in all three outlets change to red. And the same for the blue, the green, and the black. And you can add more buttons like white, purple, pink, Scion, all the colours that are available, you can mess around with it and then play with it yourself. But that's simply how you change the colour of text with buttons. So I hope this helps in any of your apps or projects at the moment. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. As always, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you all next week in the next video. Make sure you favourite and like the video so you have it for future reference. Also check out the full source code for this tutorial and all our others on our website at geekelement.com. Send us a message or leave us a comment if you want to suggest any tutorials yourself or if you just want to leave us some feedback. And follow and like us on Facebook and Twitter. All the links will be in the description below as well as a full list of all our apps which are currently on the App Store. Make sure you go check them out. And most importantly, if you haven't, make sure you subscribe.